Tea Party Maori, and modern day bunch of fakes? Back in the day, New Zealand was incredibly fortunate to have been colonized by the friendly pioneering British people. Imagine the horrors for Maori if the Spanish, French, Portuguese, or even the Belgians had arrived to colonize the country. Torture, repression, prolonged suffering, violence, brutality, starvation, forced harsh labor, and the destruction of indigenous populations. There would probably be no Maori left today. In comparison, the British Empire benefited Maori with the development of infrastructure, education, healthcare, technology, agriculture, legal and political systems. The British built roads, railways and ports that facilitated trade, introduced universities that increased literacy rates and educational opportunities, and opened hospitals with modern medical practices. As a result of the British colonization of New Zealand, the life expectancy of Maori greatly improved from around a 30-year lifespan to over 70 years, and still improving rapidly. Today, against all of these many and substantial positives of colonization for Maori, a group of privileged tribal iwi elite have deliberately twisted and manipulated these benefits to enrich themselves. They are a privileged elite group of mainly fake pretend Maori, predominantly pale-skinned people with only one eighth or one sixteenth Maori blood in them, people like John Tammy Harry, Rawiri Waititi and Debbie Nariva Packer, who continually promote a fake pretend Maori, multi-billion dollar grievance industry. The racist out-of-date Twaitangi Tribunal is also forever dreaming up more and more fictional grounds for raiding the public purse, based on the huge lie that colonization of these once anarchic and barbaric islands by the most humane power of the time, was so terrible for the native people that their descendants must be forever compensated. Today, five or six generations down the line when there are no longer any genuine Maori left, except only self-feeding greedy fakes like the Tea Party Maori, they don feathered cloaks and assume Maori names, so they can jump on a very profitable bandwagon. Colonization was in fact, the most positive and beneficial thing that happened to Maori in all of their history, and, much of this credit goes to the Maori of the time for having the wisdom to accept the new ways, which lifted them out of darkness and insecurity, into the light and comfort of modern civilization. People like Tea Party Maori's John Tammy Harry, Rawiri Waititi, and Debbie Nariva Packer, are dragging Maori and New Zealand back into the Dark Ages, at the expense of everyday ordinary hard-working decent Maori, all for the sole purpose of lining their own corrupt pockets. The only way New Zealand can move forward, back into the first world again, back into a modern civilized society, is simply to get rid of all race-based policies and organizations. You don't really need to be a rocket scientist to understand that's a no-brainer. Thank you for listening. Geraint, on behalf of Funerate Him.